Hey guys, welcome to day two. So let's just jump right in. Um, what I wanted to talk to you about today is the three vital behaviors. When I started this group, I mentioned that really the success of your business boils down to mastering some very basic habits um, and then repeating those habits daily and consistently over time and your business will thrive and flourish. That's it. So it is really important for you as a new coach to get started on the right foot and learn these three vital behaviors as Beachbody calls them and learn how to work it into your schedule so that you can execute them every single day. Okay, that's the bottom, bottom, bottom line. So what are the three vital behaviors? You probably wonder. <laughs> so they are personal development, being a product of the product, and invite, invite, invite. That's just one, okay? Personal development, product of the product, invite, invite, invite. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the first one, which is personal development. Um, although this is not a direct business building activity, I think it is absolutely the number one most important of the three vital behaviors for you as a new coach, an experienced coach, a human being on planet Earth to absorb and master right out of the gate. Okay, what, they, what Beachbody means by personal development is learning and filling your mind with information, whether it be from reading a book or listening to um, a training video, listening to an inspirational um, podcast, uh, etc. But absorbing information that is going to shore up your confidence and your knowledge in the business that you're in and your ability to thrive in this business. Okay, so like I said yesterday, you are going to come across people who are going to have negative uh, perceptions about network marketing. They're going to have negative perceptions about the fitness uh, program at home uh, avenue of getting in shape. They're going to have negative uh, impressions about um, Shakeology and having a meal replacement shake. There are tons and tons and tons of negative people out there who <laughs> seem to have no trouble sharing their negative opinion with you. Not to say you're not going to come across lots of positive people, you will. But personal development as one of the three vital behaviors is designed to help you learn how to deal with those negative influences that are inevitably going to come and, and impact you in your business. Okay, so you think about personal development as refilling your gas tank, right? So as a coach, you're constantly pouring out of yourself with your um, role as encourager and motivator and supporter of your coaches and your customers. Um, you're constantly pouring out of yourself by inviting other people to take a look at what you're offering. And all of that being poured out of you can sometimes leave you feeling um, a little empty, deflated, um, unsure of your ability to succeed, unsure of the viability of what you're doing, um, fearful that you're not on the right track, um, especially when someone negative comes along and challenges your belief in what you're doing. So personal development is a key component to, to filling your tank back up with positive messages, um, instruction on how to tackle certain challenges that you're going to face, um, motivation, all those types of things. They're essential to pour that back into your tank so that you still have more of you to give to your business. Hopefully that's not too vague, <laughs> but that's really what personal development means to me. It means um, giving me the confidence to go forth and do what I know I can do and what I should do, but some days I just don't feel <laughs> as superwoman as, uh, as maybe I should. Okay, so where to start? Let's get tactical. Um, there's two books that I would recommend you start with as a new coach, and those are the Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. This book is fantastic for helping you identify the ways in which you can organize your time and your focus to make sure that you're able to commit to doing the three vital behaviors every day. It really tackles the concept of making conscious decisions about what you're doing and 
what you say, what you feel, etc. And using that ability to make a conscious decision about something to change your behavior. So I hear from a lot of new coaches, you know, I don't have time to spend, you know, I don't have time to do the three battle behaviors every day. Um, what it boils down to is, you know, it's a choice on how you spend your time every day. So if you consciously look at how many things you have on your plate in any given day, you can assess and choose something that is of a lower priority to you than your business and choose to invest that time in your business versus that other thing, which might be anything. It might be, you know, watching a sitcom. It might be hitting the snooze button a couple times, etc. So this book is fantastic for taking a nice reality check, look in the mirror at yourself and going, okay, what am I choosing to do with my life and how is that different? Well, what am I choosing to do with my life and are my choices getting me toward the goals that I've set out for myself? Okay. Second one is Go Pro by Eric Warre. Okay, this book is really designed for people in the network marketing industry. Um, it is a great way to handle the objections that you're going to face in your business. It's a great way, it shows you a great way to learn the concepts of network marketing and how to approach people in a way that doesn't feel to you or to them like they're, you're just trying to sell them on something. Um, it really helps you see how you can be a successful person in the network marketing industry. And his concept is to go pro, right? You know, so don't sign up to be someone active in the network marketing community and then just, you know, dabble your toe in the water. Um, try it out. He's like, if you're really going to succeed in this business, you mentally have to go all in and say, yes, I believe in the solutions that I'm uh, representing. Yes, I believe that this business model and this business opportunity is something that's good and beneficial for people. Yes, I believe that I can be a success at this. Yes, I believe that you, my brand new coach, can be a success at this. Um, those types of things. So these are the first two books I would recommend that you pick up. Um, I have uh, several copies of this one if you guys want me to mail one to you. Um, I don't have the compound effect on anything but, uh, well, this one and um, Kindle. So however you prefer to read them, uh, paper book, audio book, Kindle book, whatever, pick up one and start there. The best way to begin implementing the three vital behaviors into your daily routine is to pick one. Let's start with personal development and start small. Okay, so don't sit down and think you have to read this whole book in a day. Sit down and decide that you're going to read five pages a day. Okay, ten pages a day. However many pages you can read uh, in a day, every day, until you're done with the book. That's why I say start small. Um, if you say, I'm going to read 50 pages a day, that's going to take a while. And it's going to be a big chunk of time you have to carve out of your schedule, which you are not used to and more than likely don't have time for. So my best advice for you is to pick up one of these books and commit to reading five to 10 pages of that book every day. You'll be able to better absorb the information that it's uh, giving you. You'll be better able to take that small nugget that you learned that day and focus on applying it in your business that same day. And um, it won't be such an overwhelming task that you do it for a couple days and then quit, okay? So that's personal development. Um, the commitment I would love from you guys today is to get one of these books, commit to reading five to 10 pages of it every day starting today or the day you get the book, and um, commit to doing that for the duration of this group, at least two weeks, okay? Um, that's what I'm asking for. So personal development, very key of the three vital behaviors. I think it's the number one behavior to master immediately. So let's get started. Happy reading, guys.